what are your experience? You know, maybe you've done a certain project or, or maybe a certain anecdote. What are things that are challenging when you, you know, you're dealing with ASME P2 number three, you're dealing with NOBOs maybe at some point, you're dealing with PED compliance. Yeah. So, you know, if we are in category three, that, that then NOBOs are involved, right? Category there is three, you mean category, category three in PIP, the PED category three, yeah, of course. Then then we have the conformity assessment procedures. We know that the NOBOs are going to be involved, right? Not only that, but in general, uh, using ASME may, may present a series of challenges, you know. Like a common one is what materials are we using? Are we using ASTM specs? If we are using ASTM specifications and ASME materials, of course, PED requires us to issue PMAs, the particular material appraisals. Yeah, yeah. If notified body is involved, a lot of times this PMA will need to be approved by the notified body. It's not a big problem. In my experience, we, we had it done several times, but it is a process. Yeah. It is a process that is required and ASTM has been trying to make a step forward towards aligning these uh, specifications, but it's a very costly process, it's time-consuming process, mm -hmm. and ultimately there might still be differences. So there are some references out there. I think if you just Google ASTM A01 in PED, there are some open documents made by the ASTM committees mm -hmm. in which they're discussing a little bit about the property differences, about the composition differences, impurities, yeah. and so on and so forth. And it, the, the general issues of ASTM within PED.